shall a man leave his father and mother and be cleaved to his wife. That is the essence of marriage. The Bible says, and the two shall become one. No more two, but one flesh. I want to welcome you again to another exciting moment on Living Couple. is my name. We thank God because the purpose of marriage is for the husband and wife to be together. And that is the purpose of this, co uh, this program. A living couple, couples that stay together, live together, eat together, sleep together, fight together. When there is need for fighting, we fight. And then we settle it together and we laugh together. And that's what makes the world a better place. And that is why we have a wonderful couple in the house today that will be sharing with us how they have loved together, how they have fought together, <laughs> how they have smiled together, and how they have frowned at each other, and yet still remained together. Knowing that God has brought them this far, and is still going to take them thus far. So I have our guest tonight, and our guest is a medical doctor. Since doctors, I shouldn't forget to let us know, I'm in the heart of Kano. Yeah, Living Couple is right here in the heart of Kano. And it says the doctors are many in Kano. For those ones that want to marry doctors, I think you can come to Kano, come and marry doctors. They are here. They are many. But I know people, my sisters in the down south, once you hear not, hmm, it's a no-go area. <laughs> but we have a medical doctor in the house. He is Dr. Tokwe Ojubolamo. He is here with his lovely wife. And she is Dickiness Morayo Ujubalama. I want to say you are welcome on Living Couple. Thanks, Thank Ma. you, ma'am. Yes, they have been married for two decades and four, and still counting. And you know, like I said before, they, they, they are wonderful couple. They will tell us. The man traveled all the way. I was asking him, where did he get his wife? I mean, should I wait for him? Let, let him tell us himself, because it's good for him to tell us where he traveled from to go and get a wife. And uh, like I said, doctors are many in Kano. For sisters that are praying, come to Kano, come and marry a doctor. It's good to marry a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to start with a word of prayer. That's just a joke, by the way. We're going to start with a word of prayer coming from our doctor. He'll give us a short word of prayer as we start. Thank you, sir. Our Father and our Lord, we thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Lord. We thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Concerning the crew. Yes, Lord. We appreciate you for bringing them to Kano safely. Thank, thank you, Lord. And for meeting us in peace. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That they please take control of every of their activities in Jesus. Amen. Amen. And let all the glory be unto you alone in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, O Lord. Thank you, in Father. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Seems all doctors are very gentle. They are very calm. But they always have a beautiful wife. They, when they go about looking for wife, they look for a beautiful woman. I'm sure that is very correct. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. Very correct. Very, very correct. That yeah, is part of it. That is part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so for our viewers out there, we are going to be having an interview with a couple mm -hmm. telling us what God has done in their 24 years of marriage. And now the doctor will tell us how he was able to doctor this woman into his house. He went yeah. all the way from somewhere and got a woman from somewhere mm -hmm. and made her the wife of a doctor. So, sir, how did you meet this beautiful damsel beside you? Uh, to God be the glory. Hallelujah. We met while we are serving. Mm. We were both the same batch. Okay. In 1997, 1997, mm. at uh, Wudi Camp. Okay. Yes, that was where we met. And then uh, after the orientation camp, we were posted differently. There was a little break up for about two, three months because I had to go back to Lagos to complete my Okay, you internship. didn't stay here. 
internship. I okay, did my internship. internship. Okay. So we were off for like about three to four months until when I came back to Canada. Mm. Then one thing led to the other. That was how we began to. But while you were in, while you were serving, mm. and you saw her. Mm. At that time, you didn't have any intentions. It was like, ah, I, I, in fact, I had a lot. I saw her. I took off my eyes the first time. That's through a friend. Okay. Uh, his name was Wali. Wali. His name is Wali. I had to call Wali because I think Wali and I said they finished from. I saw the the flow together. Very well. They finished from the same school. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's Wali being a roommate. So I had to talk to Wali. Ah, how are you? This is your friend. I like her. How are you? I had no problem. Doctor, doctor, doctor. I will set to that. I said, okay. I thought she was, he was even joking. Mm -hmm. One evening after the parade, Wali just called me. And I didn't know he was even taking me to <laughs> Then introduced we talked, we introduced, I introduced myself, we talked, and everybody. Until the passing out day, before we met again, that's, uh, where were you posted? Uh, and since me, I was going to Lagos again to come, I just, everybody was just uh, not <laughs> Let us fate to have it. We came back together. Mm. The rest is story today. Mm. <laughs> but you don't want to know before that rest is story. Mm. How the what what gave you the uh, that confidence to let you know that this truly is your wife. You know you 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 liked her. Yes. Yes. You yes. went to Lagos. Mm. You there was that distance. I'm sure you didn't propose to her at that time. No, not at all. Yeah. So we just back, talked. Exchange uh, Address addresses, and addresses yes, yes. and the rest. That was it. So when you so now came when back. When I now came back, mm. that was when we started building on No, this. you you know, he gave me his address. That is that he worked in a general hospital in Kerja then as the uh, what do you call it? House of Isa. House of Isa, yeah. uh, so that maybe if I come to Lagos after the you know, after the, the two weeks uh, uh, so we didn't, we, I don't think we talked in camp like that was a day to or that day where mm -hmm. that we just had it was like <laughs> I think we are not even going to see again. So later I think I now went to Lagos. When we got when I got to Lagos, I now went to look for him. I saw him briefly. Somehow then when I came back to Kano. But when you saw him, was it did you have any liking for him? Did you like him or what? You know, since he didn't propose to you before he left, that's when you were serving and you saw he left. Mm. So, what was it like? Actually, when I saw him in the camp, he, we just said, hi, how are you, how are you doing? And so he introduced himself and that he's, he's a friend to my friend. That's the Wiley. Actually, I met, Wiley was my, we met when I was coming to camp. We met uh, at Lagos Park, coming to to Kano okay. for service. So we became so close that Wale. So I don't know how they became close also. So I'm always talking with mm -hmm. Wale. We always, I didn't know that there was somebody that is looking I mean, at me. Mean. So me, I was just free my own with three of my friends. I came from the same school. We're just doing our own. And when Wale said somebody wanted to see me, so I saw him. And we just said hi, hi, and like we, we exchanged uh, address. Mm. So when I got to Lagos, he said I should try and see him. So when I got to Lagos, I just said, let me just see this person in there. He can get there. So I went, I so it he wasn't very busy when I saw him that day. Maybe I gave him our house address or something. I didn't know. I can't really remember. But I know that we, we got together when we got to Kano. I was attending Region Christian Church of God. He was also coming there. So when we got to Kano, we met again in the church. In the church. We were attending the same church. Wow. So we met. So we started talking. And we said, you know, we became friends. 
He didn't even friendship you entered his even, house. Yeah, yeah. He didn't even <laughs> say he wants to fight. He didn't even. We were just friends. We were just friends for a yes, long time. He didn't yes. come out to didn't, say what was because his intention. Because he was a very gentle person. You can't use a very gentle person that can't. He doesn't talk. He doesn't talk. So we we're just friends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but then you like this person. I like his personality. Mm. Like I, I like gentle men. Yes. I like gentle. I like a well cultured. And when I saw him, I can see that well cultured, clean, you know, gentle. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I liked him. You had that like. I had that like that. I like. Did you like his profession as well? I like his profession. I I like but, but, but you know, sometimes some ladies get afraid of marrying doctors because they believe doctors do stay at home. And uh, doctors, sometimes some feel that uh, doctors will always have something to do with their nurses and things like that. <laughs> they always have that fear at the back of their mind. And as at that time, I was not really looking at the profession. profession. I just, I think I just like his personality. Right. And the fact that we met again in the church, in the church and I can see the, the zealousness and everything in him in the church. You understand? That was just okay for me to be friend with him. Okay. If I may yeah. ask her, what did you see in her? Because she saw gentility, she saw you being well, calm, calculated, and very organized, and very, you know, maybe polished, if I can use that word. Mm -hmm. She saw that in you. What did you see in her? Oh, my first seeing her. Yes, I saw a beautiful lady. Mm -hmm. There was that attraction okay. because I wasn't so close to her then. Then as time goes on, I saw a lot of characters that's worth of being a woman that I can rely upon in my life. Very trustworthy, very caring. So many other things. I won't want you to know. He's just keeping it because he's watching you and he's picking it one by one, one by one. You see, uh, doctors have good eyes, you know. You know what he said when he, he said, at least in all he said he just used to see one small innocent. Then in the car, you see, we just see one, because we we're three or four that used to say, we just see one small, innocent looking girl, girl in the camp. Then I would just say, who is this? And you now told his friend that, who is? And he used to not see me with Wale. You okay. know, say, Wale, who is this? This, uh, this innocent girl. looking. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, Wale, let me, let, let me talk to her. <laughs> let me talk to her. <laughs> Oh, that is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Now you are from uh, which state, sir? Ekiti. And you are from? Ekiti. Ogo State. Ogo State. Yeah, the Jebu. Yeah, the Jebu. Uh, Jebu now, uh, marry from Ijebu because I know Ijebu people love, um, they love Gary a lot. Ikokore and uh, whatever is yes. their food. Yeah. And you marry an Ekiti man. Oh. Didn't he give you any concern where he is coming from? I'm asking you. Huh. Did, 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 I don't think it really gave me... You know, me, I stayed in Lagos. And in our own house, we don't eat a uh, pandemia, like they said, pandemia, mm -hmm. we, we do. If we have any party to do in my own house, we write somebody that will come and pound me up. We pay them. So I was not even thinking about whether mm -hmm. they whether this is what they eat girl. I wasn't really. You were just interested in the man you were I was going just to interested, marry. yes, and I'm just. We're just doing our own. We're not even as I did. We're just doing our own as friends. We're not even thinking of marriage. We're not thinking of. We're just just friends. friends. That was just it. Nothing else. So when you told them you were going to marry an Ekiti man in your home, what did they tell you? In my home, I don't. My family don't really. They are not. They don't really, you know, care so much or bother so much about. Or maybe when they saw him, he like they like him. Okay. Maybe when they saw. Okay. So when they, you know, it's his personality. That is personality. When I saw, and when he even came to my house, I will not lie to you. They accepted him. They accepted him. They just, in fact, they treated him well, and you know. My my home, we don't really, we're not really discriminate concerned. Discriminate so where far, somebody is coming Yeah, from. so far the man or the person is a very is a good person, you know, with good character. We are not really concerned about where which the person part is of coming the, yes, But I'm person. aware the Ekiti people don't like marrying, especially when it comes to Yebu. 
or even mm. open state. Um, so how I, I, I believe I'm correct. Uh, yes, mm. on the general note, mm -hmm. that I'm from a family that my dad will not look into that. He doesn't. He is more or less not bothered where about you are from. where I marry from. Oh. But there is a general belief that a kitty doesn't marry a jebu. Mm -hmm. But luckily, my my what my dad told me that made him to be convinced is that she's also from a Christian family. Mm -hmm. That a jebu Christian, no, that be she, she's accepted. Without any, yeah, they accepted me. They, I, in fact, you think that I'm one of the oh. the first, <laughs> the first time I went to the house, I was so free. I was just like one of the. If I remember, I remember when I went. I, I even have a, a POP. Oh, you I had, had the the Yes, I had the surgery okay. of my hand, and I had the POP. Mm -hmm. They were not even bother. They are not even looking at who is this, how. They just accepted that, okay, their son has brought somebody just as, uh, they, are, they just took me like their daughter, Wonderful. like their old child. You Wonderful. understand? <laughs> Thank God for that, because <laughs> I, I've heard a lot about that, that uh, a, a, a kitty man, they are not I, married, yeah. especially the Jebus. Yeah. I think the question my mother-in-law you know, asked me the, was that, you have seen our son, do you want to marry him? I hope it's not that you want to just play him or play that. Are you, do you like him? Do you want to? And that was just all. Mm. And we were just doing everything together in the house with his uh, siblings, his junior ones. We were just. <laughs> Is it the first child? Yes. Oh, you married the first in the house. Yes. Yeah, so Wonderful. Yes. And uh, they accepted you with they all. Accepted every, with my everything, with mm. everything. That, that's that's a good testimony mm. because where there is there are sometimes that some parents will say no way. Ah, even though you are Christians, but you know that belief, that cultural belief, mm. they will want to stand by it. And mm. uh, I don't know the reason why they say they don't marry them, but then. But at least today. <laughs> They are thanking God that they married the Jebu and the, 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 the Jebu wife did not disappoint them. Yes. Very well. Yes. Yes. Very well. My mother-in-law, she's very proud of me. Wonderful. She's mom. always, she's always in, fact, in praise of me. Mm. <laughs> she, so, yes. she, she, like uh, your grandma used to say, she's Adonai of Kano. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> she will praise me. She will say <laughs> my oriki in Jebu uh, <laughs> that she doesn't even know. She will say, I'm a little bit. She's in love with me and she... Mm. It's just God. It's God. God. And that is why one puts everything into prayers. And when God is leading you, you can't make a mistake. Yeah. Mm. And when you go, you know, that is where God goes ahead to make the way for you. And you come in now, all the other barriers that would have, you know, been there to stand as an hindrance, God has removed those things and you perfectly. are well accepted. Perfectly. Mm. You are perfectly, perfectly and you are relating very, very well. Perfectly. Yeah. Yes. I know. There is no marriage that does not have this hitch here and there. As gentle as doctor is, because I know he's a gentleman, he doesn't like to talk too much. The only when doctors want to confuse you in their talking, that's why they begin their medical terms. They will be saying what you will not, and they say it so so much that you'll be wondering what they are saying. So now doctor is gentle, and you love this personality, and I'm sure he's a very gentle man. But when you got married, you know. Seeing him afar off is different from being mm. together. Mm. How were you able to cope with him? Oh, cope with him. Mm. I think maybe I should make it explain it for that. There are times yeah. that you may be talking in the world and the person is not talking. Uh, he's extremely quiet. He's quiet. Sometimes he's extremely quiet. Sometimes maybe you want him to contribute to something. And you are talking, I'm, I'm asking him questions. At times, he would not talk. And that thing used to, you know, as well. Make you angry. Eh. So I'm like, I should, I should be in the moment. So I'm talking to you. I even want you to. I'm, so at times, he will talk. At times, he will tell me that he's, he's busy. I should just please hold on for him when he's done, when he's. Then he will answer my question. He's a very quiet person. You have, you have learned to live with him. <laughs> I've learned to live with him, man. I think. But initially, you didn't find it funny. Mm, the, the gentility, 
Yes. Yes. Mm, it's not that you didn't like it, mm. but at least in the home, when you wanted him to do some things, wanted him to talk, wanted him to take action, and he's just cool and calm with it. Mm, he, he, he talks. He does that sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes you see him, he's gentle. But he talks. He talks. He does that sometimes. He wants to be alone. He just wants to... So I will make sure I wind him. I make sure I make him to talk. That talk that I will make... I'll okay, you will talk. whine him. I will whine him. him. <laughs> he will talk. <laughs> do you used to get it? Do you know when she whines you? Do you used to understand why she wants you to talk at that time? Yes. <clears throat> you know, women are... They are very precious. And you need to treat them the way they are. Thank you for saying if that. You handle women in a very precious way. Mm-hmm. You will enjoy them. Mm-hmm. For her in particular... Anytime I'm hungry, she knows. Okay. It's, like, it's like that's the moment I may withdraw to myself and want to keep quiet about certain things. Or, although there are times I voice out to that I haven't understand that. I mean, I want that's him to right. talk. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> he will not talk. Yeah, yeah, I want him to talk. I will be talking. I will be doing. I will. He will not talk. But he's enjoying your talking. She does more there. of the talking, talking. than yeah. myself. And you do more of the listening. I do more of the action than. Oh, action! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> he will. He will listen. He will not talk. <laughs> I want him to talk. Once I will talk and talk. He will not talk. Mm. But he has heard you. He heard me. Mm. Mm. He wants to do what you are saying but not want to say uh-huh. what you want to hear at that time. Yes. You will just listen to you. you. Listen so what can you say is the most challenging time in this marriage? Let me start with doctor, because he doesn't talk. So, but I know he knows. You know, they are very quiet. Time. Yeah. We have, uh, mm-hmm. because actually, not that we don't have little, to say most challenging time. I don't think, I we, don't. So as in challenge, I don't think we really have. Yeah, as in maybe tango. relating with each other, yeah. or yeah. I don't think we. I don't think. That. Yes, everything Since is getting married. When I when I notice that it's like, that, uh, he doesn't want to talk. Maybe he's angry. He doesn't want to talk. I'll I'll, I'll cool down. At times when uh, maybe when he's he's angry or I've done something, he will just keep quiet. He will keep quiet. He will not talk. He won't talk. The later on, he will not be looking for a way. He will be looking for. And when I notice that he's already looking for a way to make me, I'll just. You know, okay, when he's angry that time and he's not talking, you too, you will keep quiet. Uh, ah, wow. Sometimes I will keep quiet. But when I now notice that ah, this man will not talk. Oh, if, <laughs> if we continue, this man will not talk. So I will just look for a way. He will talk. be the one that will punish you because he wants yeah. to talk. He, he can't stay. He will not. He can't stay on this. He will not talk. Mm. It's not that he's. It's not I that. I understand. Yeah. But you don't well, just be yeah, reserved. Yeah. just be. I'll, I'll just make sure I find a way and talk or do something. And everything will just become normal again. Mm. I will just flow and again. And if you that tension, everything, yeah, everything will just flow back again. Mm. I don't think we really have any challenge, any serious. I don't. I don't think so. Okay. Mm-hmm. In, in marriage, you know, there are boundaries we set for families. Being the firstborn and being a doctor, having siblings as well, what are the boundaries that you put in place for your siblings? You know, sometimes some siblings can just wake up one day, come to your house, or mm-hmm. maybe some, they come and stay, or they make some demands mm-hmm. unnecessary. I don't mm-hmm. know, but I'm just trying to say, what are the boundaries? Because normally every couple should have a boundary for their family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, are, there, are there really boundaries? We, we since she was uh, so much accepted since the first day, mm. we flew on together. There, there has not been any boundary. We, you know, I we... see her like my sister, like one of us. Mm. I, I, at a time, I wasn't seeing her like a wife or treating her. She sees my siblings as her own brothers and sisters. sisters. And you so know we, we stay far we, away. We are in and being far okay. away, yes. So after that service... Hardly do we have them visiting. Coming around. Yes. Coming around. After that yes. service, after we got married, we are here in Kano. Mm. They are there. So most times, it's we, we are the ones that used to travel mm. during the uh, Christmas or during... We are the ones that used to... Most of them are in Okay. okay. My siblings, most of them. So most times, we are the ones that travel. Every time we go there, we just... Mm. 
everybody will go back to their and before anybody can travel down to the north they will ah. come to the coast hey, yes, they prefer you sending whatever you want to yes, send and come to the they don't yes. want to come they don't want to come so. mm. Mm. Yes. and most people are also afraid of the north yes <laughs> as well once they hear that car can no, say you don't want to come so we are, we are the one that used to travel mm. Mm. Yeah. i don't yeah. know has any of them been here I know my mother-in-law have been here. My father-in-law too have been here. That was when we yes. had uh, our first child. Okay. Yes. My mom came for one week. She spent two weeks. Two weeks. After two weeks, she left. She left. Mm -hmm. Second yes. child came barely two years after. Mm -hmm. She did not come. She didn't come. Second is too far. <laughs> she didn't come. <laughs> Thank God for mothers, for mamas in the uh, church that will come and around. So. Oh, and we are not know. offended. Ah. She's not offended. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Was no, pro no problem. I mm. mean, I my it was my brother that trained me. Okay. I, I don't have a parents. You oh. understand? It was okay. my brother. So maybe maybe my own mom would have come, mm -hmm. or maybe my dad would have mm -hmm. come. Mm. So I was no. They just left us alone. We're just on our own. So anytime, so anytime we we'll just feel like we we'll go there. So anytime we we'll travel to the south, mm. we we'll, we'll go to Ekiti from Ekiti. When we finish, we we'll go to Lagos. We we'll go to my people. Mm -hmm. Then we will come back. Okay. So there was no. That's that's quite interesting because the North has given you more room to exactly. stay with yourself to enjoy yes, yes, distance. Yes, yes. It really kept a yes. family. So it has, it has, it has that really taught us how to also take care of our children on our own. Mm. I could remember that early years yes, experience. experience. Mm. After coming back from work late in the night, I would feel they want to pamper the baby to mm. oh. <laughs> 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 no, mama, no mother in law. No. <laughs> no. So, so you just have to do the work. We thank yes. God. We yes, thank God. Doing it and God saw us through. And because of yeah. the love anyway. We're just doing we're just doing our thing. We're we just, just knew that we are going to survive it. That so it's just, hard to work well. Mm, the determination was there, yeah, the so. love was there, the caring was there. And the excuse was not there that I'm working tirelessly, I work night shift, I work morning shift and things like that. We're still helping. I had to. Yes. When and she's tired and she had to sleep, I had to be the one to wake up and cuddle the baby. Yeah. Hurting till he sleeps that time. And you know, mm -hmm. here we use we use uh, nannies. Mm -hmm. There are a okay. lot of nannies we use that will come, go. Oh, so I, have, okay. I use nannies during mm -hmm. the day. Okay. They will come help the night work, work, the night. Do it together. He, will, he will help me. Because <laughs> I know some men that they have their separate room. Ah. Once the wife, they will close it's their door. Uh, uh, the uh, separate uh, room uh, cannot uh, work. Uh, it cannot uh, work. Uh, we will uh, do it together. Mm. Oh. At least the viewers are hearing those, those men that used to, once their wife gives birth, they separate. Oh. They will tell the wife, You are the one to take care of oh. Oh. the children. Oh. Is any child born is the responsibility of both the father and the oh. mother yes. to take care of it. Because some will give excuses and say, No, I'm going to work tomorrow. I'm going to work tomorrow. Oh. So you, you are not doing anything. But even when the person is not doing anything, taking care of just one child oh. is a whole lot of work, a baby. And then when the woman is doing that all from morning, and mm. he needs a helping hand. Mm. And I, I appreciate that uh, effort that even when you are tired, you still wake up mm. to still attend to the he child. He's a caring man and he's it, a family it, man. It, it, it mm. even got so, it got was so kind that uh, we had the first two, mm. barely a year, okay. six months in Tava. Mm. So what else would I do? This With, one is still young. This one, and this yeah. one is still so we like. <laughs> and then being a doctor too, you don't want your wife to look old before time uh, exactly, because you know the implication exactly, of stressing her exactly. out of you know the yeah. stress was uh, much. Yeah. Honestly, mm. that's why mm. she's looking. Hmm. You can see. Yes, now. Thank you, man. Because <laughs> I have a caring man. He's, he's a caring man. We thank uh, God for yes. that. And he's a family. He wants to do for his family. He wants to do for the children. He's ready to assist in any way to take ready, care of Yeah, he's ready to just take care of the hope of the family. So are you telling us family. to always look out for the gentleman, mm -hmm. the, the caring man? I think so. It's God mm -hmm. that gives anything. Yes. But it's better to mm -hmm. know what you want in a man. Mm -hmm. You must know the characteristics, the features you want in a man mm -hmm. before you go ahead and say, okay, I think I, I, will, I will go in, I will marry you. Marry you person. must know what you want. Look, look.
Mm. You know, you and look the, before and you the lady that gives you peace too. And the lady that so on the part of the woman mm. now, it is look for that man that you know is caring. The man that is gentle. Though there are some gentle men, but they are not caring. Mm. So you have to look at like what she said. Check the features. What exactly do you want? And also the man should also look for a caring woman, a woman that will give you peace. Yes. Peace. So not the yes. one that you are coming yeah. to the house, your heart is is in your mouth. You uh, don't know what you are going to meet at home. I, I would say that since I married my wife, I I don't have any reason to be, go home late. Mm. Once I'm not working, I know the next thing is to go on. Mm. Because I wouldn't... She's a woman that I want to be with yeah. almost all the all time. All the time. And going home gives me joy. Mm. I know it's peace mm. there. It's not a woman that I will be hearing, oh, she's fighting with the next neighbor or she's having issues with the one. No, no. no. Mm. Mm. So that peace is, is very, 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 very important. Mm. Very important. I, I always like to be with my children when they were small and to be with her. Yeah, so. I, I want to pick it up from there. You said you like to be with your children. How does any time you are chanced? Now? Whenever I'm chanced. Whenever whenever I'm whenever I'm chanced. chanced. Have you ever attended your PTA meeting before? Very well. Very well. When they yeah, that's, I want to know how well it was. Well, very you well. Because very you, well. you hardly see some men attend that. <laughs> <laughs> Despite that, she, she, she we was teaching she in was that teaching, school. Yes, as, yes. I she, still she, go she's, there she's to... She's a banker by, yes. by academics. <laughs> yes, I still go there to attend. I'm in this school. I'm a teacher in this school. Oh, <laughs> but the children will tell they me, will Mommy, tell me, I want daddy, daddy, daddy to come. come. It's daddy that I, that I want to come. They don't see me as parent. You are a teacher. Yeah, mm -hmm. They want their daddy to come. to come as a parent. Yes, so the father will come. Wow. He will see the teacher. He will, they will talk. They will... And I'm sure it's created a good impression, left an indelible mark in the heart of these children. Because when children see their parents come, especially fathers, come for their PTA, yes. it's a sign that this father cares, cares for them. For them. Because yes, they know mommy will always be there. Yes, yeah. But the father showing up is also a sign that this man really cares so much for us. I'm sure if you interview your children to so ask them how they felt that time, they will tell you. Of course. Yes. Of course. Till up till now, mm. they they see the care and the love we give them mm. jointly. Mm. Our first child came twenty two thousand and one, mm. second one two thousand and two mm. November. Mm. Then the third one, we are, of course, because of the distance and mm. the rest, two thousand and six. Mm. The three of them mm. are in their institutions now. Mm. Then the last born twenty eleven. Mm. That's the one That's baby, the baby of the baby house. Of the house. Yeah. He's still with us in Kano. Yes. So mm. that love atmosphere, mm. once you create it and you are available to nurture it, mm. to God be the glory. Thank God. I'm, I'm happy forward. you are saying it because parenting, most of the time, these days you see, is always left majorly to the wives, to the mothers. Mm -hmm. And uh, the men feel uh, we need to go and. Uh, because we get money, work, and we yes. bring money. Yes. Yes, and yes. Uh, we, we take care of your needs. Mm. But that um, aspect of being present, you know, with the children is sometimes missing, which is very, very paramount in the life of a child. Because mm. every child wants to grow with the father and the mother. Yes. And that will bring me to this next question, because doctor is a very gentleman. How do you discipline your children? <laughs> uh, the Bible says, "Don't don't uh, spare, I mean, it, do not spread, spare the spare road, the road and, spoil the, and spoil the child." There are times we beat them, even as then that. But as they grow up, mm -hmm. of course, once you have corrected the child mm -hmm. one two mm -hmm. times, they grow up in that correction. That oh, this is what my dad wants. This is what my mom wants. This is what we do in our house. This is what they will not like want. me to, to do. Um, a child that doesn't take the correction from childhood, it will be difficult to train that child as he's going as on, an adult. as an adult. Now, they know what to do. The, our first child is about, he's 23. He, he knows what to do. I don't need to 
to shout, shout to much. Shout, yes. I don't need to. Once I say I don't want it, if they know when their fathers usually, you know, children nowadays they like putting in shin, mm. neck shin. I told my son, I said, look, my dad never brought up, brought me up in that way. In fact, my dad used to call it amoronko. <laughs> what they use in trapping mm, animals. animals. Mm. So why will you be using it? Coincidentally, one day I made a video call with him. So I said, Tenigolu, what are you doing with this on your neck? And that was the last thing. Mm. He never used it again. Mm. He knew what his father mm. knew what wants. I want. Because I told well, him, yeah, if I see it, it again, I will withdraw today. your feeding allowance for one month. Wow. How will you cook? So it stopped. It stopped. And we did more of talking. More you know, we go to church together. Mm. You know, Kano is a, is, a, is a nice place, in fact, to train children. Mm. We go to, the church is not far from the house. Mm. We go for Tuesday together. We go for Thursday mm. together. You listen to Bible, mm. uh, the Tenofate mm. Clinic. Mm. You listen to Bible study. We always, so the most, it's most, we talk mostly to them. Mm. Not even, not much of, of beating. beating. Mm. They know what, you know, what daddy wants. They know what mommy wants. You know that mommy, if I do this, mommy is not happy. If I do, daddy is not happy. Will you do more of the talking? Uh, yes, I talk. I talk. Their daddy show action. Hey! Uh -huh. But does <laughs> To his children, he show action. If, mm. if he change his face to them. <laughs> ah! They don't want to annoy him. They don't mm. want to offend him. They, they don't, don't want to see that other side. side. They don't want to see that other side of him. Mm. Me, I talked. I mm. talked, but when they see his own face, they see action in his face. You know, women, like I said, mm -hmm. when they talk, they know, you know, they carry just. <laughs> yeah. They, 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 they know when you are really, really serious yeah. and when they can still get away with what they are doing. Yeah. When you'll be yes. shouting and shouting, they'll say, yes. no worry, she'll be his mommy. His mommy. Yeah. But when they see their father, they, they, they dare not. Even without beating them, when they see their father's face or their, ah, they will not dare it. Which is something that is very, very good. Yeah. You know, parents, I mean, children must be able to fear somebody. Yes. At least if the mother is shouting and they are not responding. If the father looks, yes. a child must understand that, no, there is no room for nonsense. Mm. Yes. Which is very, it helps a child, but you, 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 you know, and that is um, uh, one area I'm happy you're talking about because this is parenting your dream together. Not that one person, you said he shows action. And when he shows the action, you don't, you know, go against the action. No, no. You allow him, even though he's a gentleman. Because I wouldn't have thought, I would have thought you would be the one as a teacher. Ah, mm. he, he's involved more in the children, even more than me. Mm. He's closer to them more than me. They discuss, in fact, now that they're in the story, they talk more. Mm. In fact, some things is from him, I would know that uh, they must have chatted and chatted and, you mm. know, they talk more mm. than, me. than you. They are closer to him. Despite his, uh, mm. you know, maybe harsh or harsh, they are still very... But I discovered that children that you are, you discipline more, tend to even love you more. Um, when I say discipline, I'm not yes. saying flogging, yes. out of anger or out of hatred. Mm. Mm. A child that is well disciplined tend to go to that person that disciplines them more. Yes, I agree with you. Mm. Especially my daughter, mm -hmm. Matilda. Mm -hmm. I call her Tildy. Mm. My Tildy, she's a very strong lady. That's my first daughter. Mm. So she takes to correction and she's very a very strong, hard hearted mm -hmm. girl. She could tolerate a lot of things, she could endure. She was brought up in in that. Mm. And that's what she keeps. And she tilts more to your side. To mm. my side, always. Always. <laughs> <laughs> See the way you say it, always, always. They are closer. They, they must have known that. Sometimes don't you feel a little bit somehow that these children now, I, it's not that they don't love you, but you are getting more of the information from the father. No, it's has, you know, the area where they talk more. And we also have our own area. Okay, have your own chatting area. Our own area too mm -hmm. that we talk more. Mm -hmm. The when he talks to maybe clothes, Maybe buying things, mm -hmm. maybe. But when it comes to maybe academics, you know, things very serious, decision making, all those things, is your father. You understand? Even if I have to call me, I cannot. They cannot say, Mommy, see what I, I can say, okay. But they have their own area. I have my own area. area. So, so everybody stay your there and everything. <laughs> and everything is balanced. It's balanced. Yeah. Is your daughter very, very close to you? 
very close. She's um, very fine academically too. So ever since primary school, she got so much attached to myself. And um, she's very close to me. Yeah, close. She's also in medicine. Mm. Mm. You have so. brought her close now, yeah. and you have also doctored her into that profession. <laughs> <laughs> so she has loved you so much and loved your profession as well. That is and uh, we thank God for that. But I know girls normally tilt towards their father, mm. and the boys tilt towards their mom. Mm. I think that's just the way God made it. Mm. And uh, because you are also available mm. for them, so it's easy for them to relate more with you and it's good that a father is close to a child especially a girl child mm -hmm. because it gives a girl that confidence you know no boy can brag anything for that kind of a girl because she already has the love of her father she's not looking for love anywhere there is a love somewhere and if she believes the the, the father will guide her uh, true. But there are times that they get too close that you, they won't allow the mama self to. Mm. You used to see it. Too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask, uh, what did you like yesterday? She's always like to, she always like to, to rob <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, you, you now ask, who is the wife now? Who is the daughter? I now? I say, what is it That now? has been from childhood. Mm -hmm. Not yeah, now. Mommy, mommy, don't be jealous. Mommy, don't be jealous. She's the type that wants to touch me. To, mm. She is used to you. She's mm. she's already like I said. She has that um, that trust and belief and love that nobody nobody can love me better than my father, mm. which is already settled and it's going to help her, you know, in a relationship. Mm. Which yes. men out there needs to know that when you love the girl, it will not make a girl go wayward. You see, some girls all they are looking for is love, the love of their father. Mm. Not so the mother will love them, yes, but the father relating with them makes them to know how to handle boys yes. and how to relate with men, yes. you know, and it, 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 mm. it brings hope, peace home because you're not here messing around. She, she, she has the first boyfriend in her mind mm. is her dad and that's why she's always coming over, you know, to meet the dad, which is a good sign mm. that truly your children love you and the man has made her by fire, by force, through love, <laughs> a doctor. I'm sure she's quiet too. She's and quiet. Very quiet. Very quiet. And yes, they don't. They don't want to do something that will make their father unhappy. Mm. That is one thing. Mm. They don't. They say, I just, I just, do, I just want daddy to be happy. Mm. I just don't want to understand. They want to do something that will make always their make him happy and be, mm. be, be proud of proud of them. Mm. And I would say that's one of the things that guides them, even in the academics. Mm. Uh, like until recently, they believed that they were satisfying me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now they are realizing it's for their own future. Mm -hmm. Whatever you become, you are not going to become. I, I will not collect two certificates, one MBBS. Mm -hmm. The ones they are working for is for themselves. Mm -hmm. So, based on that, as you grow in the academics, you realize that all what you have been schooling and being told by parents is all, all for, for yourself, yourself, not for your parents. And they are thankful today yes, thank because they are realizing that all the shouting and all the emphasis on facing your academics mm -hmm. is not for the parents, yes. but for them. Like yes, some so people no. will say, yeah, I'm doing all for my parents, but you are not doing it for your parents, you are doing it for, for yourself. So, wow, our time is fast spent and we have to post it here. It is so, such an interesting thing. We still have lots of things we are still going to talk about. But you know, mm. that parenting aspect is such an interesting one that a gentleman could be so involved with. Mm. And then you see the other side. It's not gentle only and not gentle to the children at the detriment of mm. the upbringing of the children. He's an action man to the children. And that has paid off today. His gentility is not the one that's just gentle or through permissive father yeah. and uh, the mother will be the one and they'll be looking at the mother as being the harsh person the wicked woman while the father is just you know nonchalant about the discipline which is not so concerning your case i want to thank our dear doctor mm -hmm. and dickiness ojola sorry before i before i do another question here <laughs> for coming on living couple 
And this is where we are going to put a pause. And I want you to know that uh, this is just the first part of this interview. We are going to be having the second part and the doctor and his wife will be sharing a little more further into the wealth of experience. And uh, before we wrap it up, we will want uh, Dukeness Oju Bolamo to pray for us as we wrap it up. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we want to say thank you. Thank, thank you. We want to worship your holy name. We want to say thank you for this opportunity even to, to share even our experience even with viewers and people around. We say, Father, please let there be peace in every home, O oh Lord, in Jesus. Amen. Every home watching this, I pray that there will be peace, there will be Amen. love, unity in Jesus. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Once again, our viewers out there, I am sure you have learned something about parenting today, how both parents must get involved in taking care of their children so that they can turn out to give us peace and to give us that joy we all want. And loving your wife is not something that you must be compelled to do. Your spouse, you must love one another because love is God and God is is love. So we'll come your way same time next week. We need to appreciate every of our viewers out there. Keep loving, keep rejoicing, and keep watching living. Till we come your way same time next week, we say God bless you and bye for now. Thank you.